Hey guys, what's going on? It's Quad here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a brand new tutorial. Yes, I'm going to be bringing back the tutorials, so if you want to see more of them in the future, definitely let me know down in the comments below and by leaving a like on the video, all that good stuff. And then let's go ahead and just jump into it. So as you guys can tell by the video, today's tutorial is going to be on Nightbot. So first step, go to nightbot.com tv slash login or just nightbot.tv it'll redirect you here if you aren't logged in obviously the first step before that is either having an account on twitch youtube or mixer those are the current platforms that's on it might expand in the future but this is what we have right now so what you want to do from here is go ahead and make sure on whatever platform it is that you are logged on on there that'll make it a lot easier and you just go ahead and click whichever platform you want for me it will be twitch and you then have this uh, list of things, you know, you can look through it if any of that is stuff that you want, but it's it's pretty plain and simple, you know, it's, it's the usual stuff and then you hit authorize and then you will be sent to the dashboard. Now the dashboard is pretty simple. It goes ahead, shows you messages, commands, timeouts, you know, it's maybe like, you know, if your stream gets a little bit bigger, it's good to like keep track of stuff like that. But honestly, I, you know, it's not really, it's not that big of a deal. You know, it tells you what the top commands are, which for me is to see what my commands are, which is the commands one. We'll go into that a little bit deeper. And then your top chatter. And that's basically it here. If you guys have any recent timeouts, you can see them down below there. Recent events will be coming soon, as you can see. And if you want to get rid of Nightbot on your channel, you go ahead and hit part channel, and then that will remove Nightbot from your channel entirely. So other than that, uh, if you guys go ahead and log in, connect it, it will automatically send Nightbot to your channel. Sometimes it'll be down, but that's that. So then what we want to go ahead and do is go to the default commands. That's what I was talking about with commands here, because there are a set of default commands that Nightbot has with it. The first one is commands, which will just link you to the Nightbot page that shows all of your custom commands and such. And then we have commercial, which can run an ad or commercial. It's obviously a moderators only for all of them that, you know, can change stuff like the spam filters, the game, which you see a lot of people do. It's just exclamation mark game space. And then whatever the title is like exclamation mark game space Fortnite. And I'll change the game to Fortnite. So you can go ahead and have your moderators. If they're active in chat, they can go and change the game or the title for you, which is down there as well. Uh, you can set stream markers, you can start a poll, you can manage your list of regulars, which we'll go into here in a second, and you can also do song requests, which we'll also go into in a second. And you can also do winner by uh, choosing a random winner in chat. And there's also a more in-depth giveaways, which we'll go into in just a second, but here I'm going to just go ahead and show you my custom commands. This is just a long list of custom commands. and. How you add a command is a smash mark add com. So I'll go ahead and type it here at the top. Um, a smash mark add com, just like that. Or if you want to edit an already existing command, so a smash mark add com space test. Now I'll add a command called test and then space and then text. And that's how you add the command there. And then if you want to edit the command, it's the same exact format. Edit com space test space text. And then if you want to delete the command, you can go and delcom. And then you don't obviously need to add the text again. And that'll basically do all of it there. There's also um, a smash mark command space edit space test. And then here also you can go and add or delete. So that's another way that you can do it. You can do it either way, whichever one you're most comfortable with. I go with the adcom, edicom, delcom, just because, you know, it's simpler. And that's basically it for that. So that's how you add all these commands in. And if there's any custom commands that you might want to add, such as follow age or such as, like I'll go through mine here real quick. Okay, so follow age, you can see the text for right here. I might go ahead, I'll go ahead and add all the main ones to the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and grab them. But for any of them that are pretty common around Twitch, such as follow age or, you know, follow since there's a few different ways that people would do it. But all you have to do really is you can just type in a Google search Nightbot follow age. This is exactly how I found mine. And there are forums on Nightbot that have 
commands where people do it. And so you just go ahead here and then there's the format for it right there. And you just copy that and then you know literally take that exact same thing if you want to say polish and say polish. And that's how you do it. So it's really that simple. Um, once you get a hang of it, because there's some there's some more like in-depth things. I can make another video on in-depth commands. I don't want to go over it in this because this is a lot more simple. But I'll go ahead and add all of the main ones, you know, the ones that you see across a lot of streams that are, you know, using some code or something like that. I'll put those in the description down below. So go ahead and look down there if you guys want to see those. But let's go ahead and jump into giveaways. All right. Giveaways, you guys have probably seen this screen before on Twitch at some point if you've been around for a little bit. Um, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is either there's three types of giveaways. You can either have an active user which will randomly select anyone that's typing your chat. You can have a keyword, which you just select a word. So word, and then they just type a word in chat. Um, then you can go ahead and also have a random number and you can just select the range and then they spam the chat until someone gets the number and then they win. And those are the main types. You can change the eligibility. If you want to have it be subscriber only, you can go ahead and do that, or you could just put in subscriber mode. Either of those work, but you just check, uncheck. Make sure you obviously have your moderators eligible as well if you want them to be able to win. Um, I have, I'm not 100% sure if it lets them enter otherwise. I think it might, but I just play safe and pick whichever ones you want. And then we'll go into regulars here in a second. I'm just going down the list here. But yeah, that's basically it. And then once you do it, you roll it. Obviously, there's no eligible users. Once the people type the keyword or they post in chat as an active user, they will pop up on the left over here. And then you can reset the eligibility by pressing this button. And you can also have, there will be a button next to them that will make, let you allow them or like prevent them from being eligible. That makes sense if there's an individual. So like maybe if you're giving away multiple things and you don't want them to win it twice, you can, you know, make them ineligible. And that's basically how you do all that. And then with the logs, this is really just chat logs. That's it. And there's really nothing else to it. It's a way to be able to keep track of your chat in case like one of your moderators might have cleared it and you didn't see what happens. You can go back and check this way. So that's basically it there. And then the regulars. Regulars is, it's not really like, it's not needed, but for me, I use it here and there. For me personally, I have it set as the people that are regular in my chat that for me, I have it set to where they can post links or stuff like that. You can also have it to where you know subscribers can do it. But it's basically people like that aren't mods or VIPs, but I still trust them like to link something to me if I you know if they go like, hey, can you check this out? And it's like sure. And it saves me time to you know not have to permit them. But anyways. Now we can go ahead and go into song requests. And here is the auto DJ. And there's also your list of song requests. You can add songs if you want to just have a few songs listed on there. If there isn't anyone requesting songs, so that way there will be still be songs on the, you know, on the playlist. And then from here, you can just play it and then you can go and skip the song by clicking this if you want to go to the next one. And it's pretty simple in that regard. But after that, we have the spam protection. And this is one of the you know, one of the more useful things that Nightbot has along with the commands, you can blacklist certain words and phrases. This isn't really that helpful now that Twitch has auto mod, which can automatically detect words that, you know, might not want to be used in stream. So that's usually, I don't really have anything under the, my, uh, my list of words and phrases just because auto mod usually takes care of that, but I still have it enabled. Um, you can have excessive caps. Uh, if you guys are fine with people using all caps or excessive emotes, you want to come over here and disable it. Um, all you have to do is just hit this button and then it'll enable it there and then just hit it to disable it because I think Nightbot has it to where excessive caps, emotes, and symbols are all timed out automatically. So you want to come over here and get rid of that if you guys are okay with that. And same with repetitions, you know, if someone's like repeating the same thing over and over again. I usually just like, you know, take care of that manually moderating. I don't need Nightbot to take care of that for me. The only ones that I have that really I have Nightbot take care of is links, as I mentioned. Um, you can set it to where your regulars 
can be exempt. So the regulars are above the subscriber because regulars are the people that you choose. And so here I have it to where it's subscriber and regular. So it, it so everyone that's not a subscriber, regular, moderator, or VIP, they get time to have to post a link. So that way you know you don't get random links from people that show in there because you, you don't know what will happen on the internet. That's basically it. And then we have timers, which is a very useful thing that a lot of people don't take advantage of. Um, this is when you see Nightbot just randomly post something in chat, even if there wasn't a command set for it. And for me, I have it set up to post for my YouTube, my Twitter, to use Amazon Prime, to follow the stream, to join my Discord, and to use bits because I have it set up to, like, you know, tell them that you can get bits for free if they don't already know that. Because a lot of people don't know that. But that's basically it for that. And then there are integrations. And this basically is a way that you can use Nightbot on Discord. There is a Discord version of Nightbot. Um, I don't use it personally. I can make another video on that if you guys would like to see that. And then there is Muxy, which is kind of like Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and it allows you know Nightbot to connect with that. And that is basically it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, definitely go ahead. Let me know what you enjoyed about it, what you want to see next from the videos. If you guys want to see a more in-depth version of, you know, for my commands and such, how to, you know, make certain commands, because I do moderate a bunch of channels as well. So I know how to, you know, I know my way around it for some of the commands. If you would like to see a Discord Nightbot set up, how that all works, uh, let me know, because I'm definitely down to make more videos like this in the future. It's been a while since I made tutorials, but I'm wanting to get back into it because I feel like I have a lot of knowledge in this stuff because I study a lot of different things about it and I like to help you guys learn about it as well. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you can see as soon as it goes live. Check me out on all my other social medias, which will be linked down below. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all later. Peace.